All right, have and have not fans. Uh, this video is going to be about one of the more popular topics I've seen on the internet since the finale aired, and it has to do with J uh, Justin being exposed to his wife in the courtroom. Uh, just a couple things about this. Number one, I'm just well. Then again, it was a preliminary trial, so it wasn't like a major case yet. So uh, just to be clear, it's a good thing that there are only like maybe what two to four spectators in the um in the crowd during that trial itself that was pretty amazing in itself because i i can't even imagine what the crowd reaction would have been if let's say there were about 20 or 30 people uh sitting in the chairs while you know justin was being exposed on the tv like that so the topic of this theme is well excuse me this video itself is going to be about whether or not uh was it right for veronica to expose justin and a lot of the comments i've seen have been you know like yeah veronica i'm glad she did it because you know i'm glad justin got exposed so his wife would know because it's not right for her to be married to a closeted man well maybe it's not that point of him being in the closet but the fact that he's been you know going behind her back getting with you know other people in this case trying to get with jeffrey multiple times because i, I will say this about Melissa, oh, excuse me, not Melissa, but Veronica and Justin. Those two are characters who keep their word because let's start with um, Veronica. There were multiple times, multiple times where she told Justin to back off, leave his son alone. I believe the first time was outside of her own house when uh, Jeffrey was followed. If I'm not mistaken, it had to do right after the whole, you know, attacking Wyatt at his apartment when they arrested Quida and that other guy and Jeffrey was followed home by Justin and he was trying to apologize about it and then asking him about, you know, are you with him? Blah, 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 blah. And then Veronica came out to the front of the house and talked with Justin. Next thing you know, they talked in the stairwell of the uh, hospital. And then finally, you know, when the chips were down, she took that video of him in uh, Jeffrey's room. <laughs> and she even made it clear what well, was it in the police station he even asked for the video but then you know he went into attack mode and veronica said hey you know what jeffrey if you don't show up to my house when i tell you to come i'm going to expose him in front of his wife and she did and even at the end when she's walking out of the court courtroom she walked to um justin is like hey you did this look around this is your fault like i told you I mean, Justin, uh, excuse me, Jeffrey getting arrested. Veronica said, hey, you're going to jail. To, you're going to jail today, boy. So Veronica, you know, lover or hater, she does keep her word. Now, moving on to Justin, I mean, he told Veronica several times. It's like, you don't want to get on my bad side or you don't want to do that, you know, in terms of showing the video to his wife. And <laughs> because of that, you can tell that, as Veronica was saying, the only black life that matters is Jeffrey. And you could tell by the way he was ramming his truck into uh, the vehicle, well, Melissa's car, vehicle that Veronica was driving. I, I, on a side note, I know that he was trying to get back at Veronica. So, you know, he was keeping his word. I do find that kind of messed up that I, I don't know if he could tell there was a passenger in there, but Melissa was collateral damage. Oh, okay. Well, she was technically the one, you know, get the vehicle out of control by grabbing the wheel from Veronica. So in a way, she pretty much caused it to flip over. But let's just talk about Justin ramming the vehicle. Let's say if he ran the uh, vehicle enough that it went off road and they got into the wreck without Melissa's interference. I do feel that that was a bit low because, again, if he knew that somebody else was in the car, but he was just ramming it to spite Veronica, I think that's really jacked up. So, you know, we really don't know what his mindset was, but hey, I'm just putting that out there. So I, I will say this much. I don't. I don't think that it was Veronica's place to expose Justin, but she did keep her word. But I am glad the truth is out because as a lot of people have said, it wasn't fair from for uh, Je uh, excuse me, Justin's wife, of course, the judge to be in the mar in married to a man who's pretty much going behind her back and cheating. And even Jeffrey said several times like, hey, aren't you married? Go home to your wife. What are you doing with me? It's almost like, you know, imagine if Jim, uh, flip the script. Let's say Jim was coming on to Candace over and over again during like season one, season two, while he's still married. And then Candace was like, look, 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 you're married to Catherine. What are you doing? Go home to your wife. It's almost like that scenario if this situation was flipped. Uh, I put it this way. Instead of the aftermath being simply, you know, his wife's reaction. Is anybody with me wondering about a character we haven't seen in quite some time? Uh, Miss Pearl, Justin's mother, the Southern Belle who really doesn't who pretty much seems stuck in her old ways of not really having a liking towards black people. 
And as I said before, Justin is like a parallel. He, Justin is kind of who Jeffrey could have become if he never came out of the closet, being that he has a mother who's, we don't know much about Pearl, but we can pretty much kind of assume that she wouldn't be, uh, let's say, supportive of her son being gay. So it wouldn't, you know, surprise me if she forced Justin to get married. And, you know, even though I will admit Justin's wife does look good, but she seems, you know, just looking at her appearance, she does seem to be a bit older than Justin. It's almost like, you know, Justin, and again, I'm just making a kind of a comparison here. It's almost as if Justin is uh, like around Benny's, let's just, you know, based off looks and whatnot, it's almost like Justin is around Benny's age and the judge is like Veronica. It's almost like if Benny and Veronica, Lord have mercy, I'm not trying to ship these two in a relationship, but this is the best comparison I could think of. Let's say if um, Benny and Veronica were married, it's almost like, you know, how it looks have seen Justin and his wife because she does seem a bit older. And I think they have a child or kids. I forgot. Uh, I know they do have children. I don't know if it's, you know, one or more, a child or children. I know they have, let's just say that I know they have um, at least one kid. So what I'm thinking here is the fact that I wonder what's going to happen when Pearl finds out. Cause I'm pretty sure the way that Justin's wife, you know, called for a recess and left the courtroom. I'm pretty sure she's not going to keep this secret from, you know, his mom. He's probably going to get a phone call from Pearl and she's going to go off. And Lord have mercy. The fact that not only is, you know, Justin messing around with another guy, but it's a black guy. So, oh my gosh. That is not good. Not to mention, uh, she's seen Justin going to uh, Candace's house multiple times based off her video cameras and whatnot. She has pretty much locked onto her house, so that's not going to look too good. And I also want to say that, uh, wow, uh, another question to raise is if, you know, Justin's wife is relieved of the case as Veronica suggested. It makes me wonder what judge is going to take over the case now that's another interesting point so i just wanted to put my two cents out there about the whole justin being exposed what do you think about all this was um i do think it's fair that justin's wife found out i don't know if finding out in public was the right way because even though the courtroom only had a couple people in there that was pretty humiliating so Ugh, that's not going to be pretty. I do like the setup for next season because even though Veronica may be temporarily out of commission, I feel like, you know, the real enemy for Justin is going to be his mother when she finds out what happened in the courtroom. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next video.